pay me lately, which is nothing. As if that'll keep the bank away. Not from you, but the boat. Not even the boat. Wanna bet? What's the bet? How about the boat? You're not getting my boat, Buckskin. Then go borrow the money from the union again. It's a big meeting tonight. All the executives will be there. It'd be a perfect time to ask. I could do that. It's my money anyway. Hey, nice sweater. Well, thanks, but I didn't come to talk about sweaters. I came to see Bob. Stay away from the boat. Sorry about the wildlife. Thanks for the heads up. Hi, Bob. I mean it. Stay away from the boat. Hey, Dad. What's that? Papers. Guitar. I just bought it from Swamp. I need you to pay for my lessons. Come on, Bob. You know how this plays. Back off, Weasel. Play nice, boys. How much? A hundred bucks. Gilbert, take the papers. That's it. OK, easy. Give them to me. No. Bob's got to take the paper so he can go back to his singing lessons. Guitar, get lost. Bob, let's go. Dad? Some other time, Tammy, please. You promise. Look, if things work out at the Union Hall, we'll talk about the guitar. I already got the guitar. I need lessons. We'll talk later. Foiled again, eh, Weasel? I'll get him. Yeah, well, we'll see. Well, come on, Tammy. I'll buy you dinner at the Westerly. It's always the same. No, Bertie's got a new menu. I just got these drawings back from the architect today. They're amazing. Now the plans are drawn from this point of view, so you can see what the development will look like. Now compare this with what you see in front of you. Actually, Dick, there's a strange looking guy jumping up and down at the end of the dock. I think he's waving at you. I can't talk now, I gotta get Gilbert. Call me. Oh, that's just Weasel. Now this is the main hotel complex. Luxury condos, Executive offices, security section, restaurants, Hold on. nightclub. Hold on, wait. You're expecting to need a security section? That big? Julio, do you have any idea how much cash this place is going to bring in? We can't have heaps of money laying around unprotected, can we? As the mayor of Time Harbor, I'm proud to say that we have the lowest crime rate in the country. <laughs> what do you have, Franco, is the smallest police force on the planet. And you're lucky there's been no serious criminals come to town yet. Are you saying they will once we build this casino complex? What I am saying, Julio, is that this is the casino complex I'm building right here in Time Harbor. And I got you the party nomination, and I'm funding your campaign. Your uncle's in, he's on the team. And you, Julio, you're gonna play too, understand? I'm starting to. It's all state-of-the-art surveillance technology. I saw it for myself when Dick took me down to the casino in Reno, and the women, Julio, you would not believe the women that come to these places. You're gonna go crazy when you see them. You've actually managed to buy or option all the land involved? Well, I've got everything I need. Well, except that building Ed used to own. Oh, it must belong to Bertie now. Well, she thinks it does. What does that mean? Oh, uh, nothing. We'll go over there later. Well, check this out. <laughs> It's not the same, I tell you. It's different news since Ed passed on. What you're saying is true. Ed was a gem. Oh. This Julio, he's nothing but a dick man. You mean he's Dick's man? That's it exactly, a dick puppet. Yeah, but Cheryl's unopposed again. No one else will run. What are we supposed to do? We have gotta find a new candidate. We all know that Dick is out for Dick, and Julio will be his lackey. And if he wins that election, I guarantee you, He'll build that casino, and all of it will be non-union. Suppose we all back Cheryl. You've been smoking something, Jerry. She doesn't have a prayer. She's run too many times before. This'll be number three, and I won't support her. Oh, no one will support her. Her trouble is, she has no dick. I'm not too sure about that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Look at this idiot. It didn't look like there was anybody behind the wheel. Yeah, that's Tommy from the res. He's only like five foot tall. The power seat's broken. He just bought it. A logging truck? Yeah, Smitty sold it to him for a buck to avoid having it seized by the bank. Part of the cedar bow industry now. No kidding. Yeah, like I said, that's what you should do with the boat. Are you guys logging? No, not until the trees are signed. In the meantime, he's just using it to drive his old lady to bingo. He's a good Christian. I'll start by telling her how good this will be for the town. And how much I need to support. You two let me do the talking, okay? I know how to handle Bertie Sawyer. Bertie's really busy right now. Can I tell her what it's about? No, you can't. Suit yourself. It's never the right time to talk to Dad. Any time I talk about guitars, he thinks I'm going to split like Mom did. Oh, come on. Do you really believe that? For sure. It's true. You'd think you'd be happy that I'm doing something creative. Not out smoking weed or drinking like some kids. You two ready to order? Mm. Vegetarian lasagna. How about you, Anna? Prime ribs on special? Prime rib, yum. Uh, no. Make it two veggies. Thanks a lot, Misty. Tammy, you know your dad's really proud of you. He's just struggling financially right now. Yeah, right now? What about the rest of my life? Oh, come on, he's always there. Hey, where the hell's Birdie? I've got a ferry to catch. The cook called in sick and she's on her own in the kitchen. Can you tell her I'm in a hurry? Yeah, I'll let her know. I gotta get out of here. Don't worry about it. Go, go, go. I'll talk to her. You're the mayor. Sell her on it and call me. Don't worry about a thing. Me and Julio will take care of everything. Two orders of veggie lasagna, Bertie. Hey, how's it going out there? I'm swamped, for Christ's sake. I'm sorry there's nobody out there to help you. You're on your own in here, too, Bertie. I'm not complaining. You know, when the rush is over, let's sit down and talk. I don't feel like talking. Well, some of us were thinking about putting together a baby shower. The only shower I'm thinking of is a hot one at home. And that dick out there, he's getting impatient. Well, never be too quick to respond to an impatient dick. You're telling me. <laughs> Listen, don't worry about Dick. You just take care of yourself and the baby. What does he want anyways? He wants to buy this place. Hmm. I'd take the money and run. Well, now that Ed's gone, the Westerly's all I have. I might complain sometimes about being chained to it, but the truth is, I love this place. Is this order for table seven? Yeah. Then we've agreed, lads. We kind of won this election with Cheryl as our candidate. And this is an election we've got to at least try to win. Oh, yes. No, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. And we agree that anybody would be better than Cheryl? Absolutely. 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 Yeah. 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 Then, lads, I've got a plan. Open up your wallets, gentlemen. I want $100 from each of you. I am calling this meeting to order. Would this meeting please? That's better. I am now calling this meeting to order. What the heck's going on here? I don't know. Must be bingo. Park right here. Now that's Tommy's spot. He'd be pissed if I did. Drop me off at the hall. No way. What? I'm driving. There's no way I'm walking any further than you. Okay, there's a motion on the floor to accept the minutes of the last meeting. All those in favor? Opposed, if any? Carried. I can't believe this. None of you are willing to stand. 
Where's your sense of duty? If I wasn't a communist, I'd do it myself. Is it legal to pay someone to run? Gentlemen, now is not the time to be debating the finer points of the law. There is a time in the tide of men, which, when taken at flood, leads to good fortune. This $1,000 is a bloody good start. You chickens are standing around here hatching only excuses? I'm not interested in excuses. I've got $1,000 right here in my hand, and one of you is going to run, and that's all there is to it. Now, we've only got about 10 minutes before the nominations, so who's it going to be? Make up your minds. So that takes care of old business. Now we go on to new business. Item one, nomination of candidates. Nominate Cheryl Lundstrom. I'll second that. Bloody hell, we need an impartial chair if Cheryl is going to run. Where's the vice chair? Where the heck is Arnold? In the can. <laughs> <laughs> While we're waiting for Arnold to take the chair, let me say, I am willing to stand. Brothers and sisters, I will advance our collective cause, solidarity forever. In particular, I'll take a strong stand in support of entrenching equal rights for homosexuals in the workplace and in society at large. Motion from the floor. A motion from the floor is out of order at this point. Move a 10 minute recess. We don't know if Arnold is taking a pee or a crap. If it's a latter, he could be there for half an hour. I am seconding the motion. This motion is out of order. The meeting will disregard the motion. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. This motion is out of order. Ten minute recess. You should have dropped me off in the Union Hall. I could have been in and out by now. See, I had to take a little walk. Big deal. Does you some good to slow down. So what's your plan? I'm going to ask the treasurer for a cash advance on my pension fund and get the executive to agree. Cheryl? What are you going to do about her? Oh, yeah. She'll start quoting the Union Bylaws chapter and verse. I'll have to avoid her. We need a distraction. Like my great-grandfather used to say, to keep your enemies off guard, you need a good distraction. He liked to start fires. <laughs> Jackie, we're not going to burn down the Union Hall. Yeah, too bad. Jock, Jock, Jock. You got a minute after the meeting? Why? I need to meet with the executive. I'm hoping to arrange a loan against my pension fund. Executive meets next week, Bob. Right now, I'm busy. It'll only take a minute. Later. What a prick. Maybe Jag can help us. Jag, Jag. Maybe you could arrange a meeting with the executive. That would be very difficult. What is the purpose of this meeting? His karma has come to roost. Oh dear, that is very ominous. Karma? It's an Indian thing. <laughs> Jag, I need a loan and I need it now. That is a matter that cannot be discussed today. Did you say loan? Jock, Jock, I must speak with you on behalf of Bob Gilbert. No, no, Jag, I'm busy. No, 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 Jock, don't be so hasty. He needs money. What is it that you're holding in your hand? Exactly! <laughs> Call a meeting back to order. I am seconding the motion. I'm chairing this meeting, Jock. I'll call it to order. Everybody take your seat. You need some money, Bob. I've got $1,000 right here in my hand. If you'll stand as our candidate. Candidate? You will be replacing Ed Sawyer. No kidding? This ought to be good for a laugh. <laughs> Here, Bob, take it. A thousand bucks, man. It is a great thing you're doing. All right, I have Cheryl Lundstrom nominated. Do we have any further nominations? Hi, Bob Gilbert. I am seconding this absolutely. Bob, you sure you want to do this? Yes, absolutely. Will you all shut up? Any other nominations? All right, then I call the question. All those in favor of Cheryl, raise your hands. Okay then, those who want Bob, put up your hands. Bob Gilbert is our new candidate. Jules.
rules. I'm telling it to you. With Dick back in your campaign, you cannot lose. Uncle Frankie, I... I really appreciate everything you've done for me. This is a tremendous opportunity for you, Jules. You'll make the family proud. Sorry to take so long, Franco. What can I do for you? Can you sit down for a moment? Well, I can sit for a minute, but I can't stand much. Oh, so the nonsense has started already. I hate to see a nice kid like you mixed up in politics. Ed, he did a good job for us all. Julio, he will protect his legacy. Oh, what legacy would that be, Franco? Bertie, I, I really am sorry that Ed is gone. Oh, no, kid. Thanks. Can I give you some campaign literature? Oh, is that what you wanted to see me about? Listen, I had to put up with this campaign crap for I don't know how many years. I don't want any more of it. You won't be endorsing the candidate? Oh, well, I'll be endorsing all of them, Franco, as the biggest mugs in town. Politics is for fools as far as I'm concerned. Bertie, that is not why we are here. Not entirely. Well, what then? We need to discuss the waterfront development, Bertie. I don't need to discuss it. The westerly, she's a smack dab in the middle of the development. Well, so what? Dick Ferris, he'll make you an offer you cannot refuse. I am not interested in Dick Ferris or his money. You watch your back, kid. <laughs>